Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will study about triggers. So, triggers are special store procedure attached to table events. They can't be directly executed. They fire only in response to an insert, update or delete event on a table. In the same way that attaching code to form or a con control event in Visual Basic or Access causes that code to execute on the form or control event triggers fire on event tables. So you can create trigger using one syntax. So let's create trigger. To create trigger you have to first write create after that trigger you have to give trigger name I am giving tr city because I am creating trigger on city table after that write on table name on which you want to create trigger I am creating trigger on city mast now you have to specify after or before there are main two types of trigger one is the after trigger and one is the before trigger after trigger will be executed after performing operation and before trigger will be executed before the operation perform. So I am creating after and I want to perform operation insert. Trigger, I am creating trigger for, for insert operation. So this trigger will be executed after inserting operation. Now write as and write the code which you want to execute after inserting operation. So I want to just print that this is after trigger data successfully added and execute this trigger query command completed successfully now insert the data in city mass table insert into city mast values 12 values 12 and city to rajkot execute we can see one message is printed in message tab which is this is the after trigger data successfully added so trigger is executed automatically we doesn't need to call this trigger so this is the use of trigger when you want to execute certain code on after or before deletion, updation or insertion operation of table then you can use the trigger. Trigger is mainly used for creating log of database. So this is the trigger. Thank you.